Hey everyone. <laughs> I had a rough time getting on this video. My internet uh, electricity is going in and out. So hopefully my phone is working because my laptop connect. Oh, it just connected. So well, anyway, I'm on my phone. So hopefully this works. And I broke a nail on the way. And so that may be distracting because I don't have anything to clip it with. But anyway, I'm here for our Mindset Monday and question and answer. And I'll try to pull up this video on my laptop here mm -hmm. in case anybody's asking any questions. But this week is the third week of um, the Abundance Challenge. And it's all about relationships. And I am a mindset coach and yoga teacher. And so what I find is really um, the first, uh, my opinion should be the first goal when you're working on relationships is your relationships, relationship with yourself. And so that's what I focus on a lot in my mindset coaching and in my yoga classes is how do we take care of ourselves, love ourselves, um, so that we can show up in, with our best foot forward and show up for all the other relationships in our life. So I posted um, another video of me doing a kind of, got my O light working and so you can still see me. Okay, so yeah, I don't know if this will work or not, um, but that video that I posted today is all about um, a loving kindness meditation and it brings you through um, sending kindness to yourself, loving kindness to people in your life, and loving kindness to all beings. And so tonight I just really wanted to focus on love for ourself and what that looks like. Um, what does love for yourself look like? And first of all, if you are doing the Abundance Challenge and the Next Year Red Challenge, the whole Elevate course, that is love for yourself because you've already committed to a change that you want to make. So you are showing yourself love by just showing up with a new challenge. Um, so you are, number one, ready and receptive to change. That's love for yourself. Um, number two, you have the ability to see what the change will look like in yourself. So you're able to visualize what you're hoping to get out of a change. You see other people doing things that you want to do. Um, it's not jealousy. It's not envy. It's you can visualize that's what you want. So that is love for yourself. Number three. Um, you allow yourself time to change and to heal if you have healing to do. Um, that can look like lots of different things. It might look like um, self-care, scheduling um, date nights, scheduling massages, making sure you exercise, making sure you eat right. So allowing yourself the time to do those things. Um, as a mom... I thought I was doing most of those things um, on a regular basis, maybe not daily, uh, weekly, you know, uh, a bath or things like that. Um, but when stress hit, I realized that I wasn't allowing myself time to heal. So when changes occur, occur hard changes, you need to reassess, am I giving myself enough time? And it changes with age, it changes with stress, it changes with developmental um, changes in your kids. So you have to reassess, am I giving myself enough time? Um, let's see if I can reconnect. My internet is still really not working well, so um, we'll see. Looks like someone's watching, but hopefully my, my video is recording. Um, let's see. Number four, what does love for yourself look like? 
It means visiting the love for yourself daily. What are you doing daily to take care of yourself? So if you are here in the abundance challenge, you've already done the other three things. And now what new habits are you going to put into place every day that are going to continue your growth and continue your love for yourself? Um, and that can change every day. So that's why you need to revisit it daily. Like, am I doing what I need today? Um, am I okay with what I'm doing today? Do I need to make a change for tomorrow? Every day is new, a new day. And that's what Linda say, says in the ULA coaching is, um, you, I don't, I, she can say it better, but um, where you are now is not who you are. It's just where you are now. So that's what we need to think about what we need each day to be our best self and what we need to do to love ourselves each day. So I have, um, for tonight, um, one of the, um, affirmations from relationships and I have the abundance oil. Actually, I brought joy today. So if you have joy, um, I have in my Facebook group, I have some free, um, joy, uh, 90 days to joyful living. So it's all about, um, the things you can put into place daily to help you with this love for yourself and to continue growing, um, the joy in your life. And it's a lot of mindful activities that you can do really simple things and just creating habits. So if you're not in my group, um, I will put the link into the video and it's, it'll be in this group somewhere. I think it's in the document too, my group. And then I have a website with all of my yoga and um, courses and things like that. Um, and I also have a free seven day yoga challenge. So if you've always wanted to try it and you never tried it, it's super simple. They're just online videos. They can get emailed to you. So those are the things that I offer right now um, that are totally free and would love to have you do those things. So I'm going to show you um, a, a self hug that you can do when you're feeling overwhelmed. You're feeling like you just don't understand what you need to do for self, for love that day for yourself. Um, and... We are going to say the affirmation, I exhale negativity and I inhale positivity. So I've put my joy oil on, taking a nice deep breath, and that is going to be my affirmation that I use. And that's right in the um, abundance challenge list under relationships. I picked that one for tonight. So for this week, choose what you think would work really well for you which relationships you want to work on. Um, I'm showing you how to do love for yourself. So working on your own relationship with self. So we take our right, right hand and we're going to gently put it on our right. Or sorry, that's my left hand on my right shoulder. And then my right hand on my left rib. So you're giving yourself a nice hug and you're relaxing your shoulders and relaxing your face. And just tune into a loving feeling. So as a mom, we're not all moms, but dads too, when your baby is born, it's said that you give off oxytocin, the hormone, the love hormone. So we want to try to think of things that make us feel loving and it releases that hormone, that chemical. So think of just the things that you love about yourself. And if this is really hard for you, I want you, I challenge you to join one of my courses because we really need to work on love for ourselves. Think of the things that you really do well, characteristics that are your strengths, and exhale negativity and inhale positivity. Anytime you're feeling down on yourself, you can come into this pose and give yourself a hug. Exhale negativity. Inhale positivity. 
and just do that for a couple of breaths using your oils feeling love for yourself closing your eyes if you're comfortable inhale positivity exhale negativity And then without judgment, just notice, is it hard for yourself? Or is it hard to do this love for ourselves? Is it unfamiliar? Does it feel awkward? Um, and just notice that. Try not to judge that you're doing it wrong or you should be loving yourself more. Just notice, is this something that you're not used to doing? And... One more breath and just let your arms relax. So I challenge you to find the things that make you feel uh, love for yourself this week, first and foremost, so that you can show up for everybody else in your life. And um, like I said, if you want more um, coursework on that, I have a course called Get Back to Self that's all about self-love activities, meditations, self-massage, some yoga activities, things like that, that really help you to connect to your own heart and um, what you can bring forth. So I hope you're enjoying the Abundance Challenge and I will see you next Monday for our Mindset Chat. And it's the last week. Next week we do finances. Um, have a great week, everybody. Good night.